first I'm going to make my plug. If a patient or a patient's friend is having bleeding after menopause, there is no normal bleeding. They must go see a gynecologist or a G1 oncologist for evaluation. Most of the time it will be nothing to be concerned about, but 15% of the time it will be cancer. And that is how we catch and cure endometrial cancer at a stage where it is curable. It's curable. The risk factors for endometrial cancer uh, in the United States are unopposed estrogen use, which really is not done very commonly anymore. When people started giving hormone replacement therapy a few decades ago, estrogen alone was given and they, they really did see an increase in, in the risk of endometrial cancer. Obesity raises the risk of, of endometrial cancer about four to eight times. That said, obesity is a difficult subject, it's a difficult thing to treat, uh, and uh, so it is certainly something to be aware of if a woman is overweight that they are at higher risk. That doesn't mean that most women who are overweight are going to get endometrial cancer. Other risk factors, uh, unfortunately just living in North America and having a Western diet is a bit of a risk factor. Never having had kids uh, is a risk factor. Early onset of menstrual periods or late onset of menopause are risk factors uh, to a lesser extent. The most important thing with endometrial cancer is at the first sign of a symptom of postmenopausal bleeding coming in and seeing a gynecologist.